chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again the base of a triangle is increased by 10% to keep the area unchanged the height of the triangle is to be decreased by how much we have to find out the percentage decrease in height so that the area of our triangle remains the same this question can be solved by two methods i will take up the first method now method 1 I have discussed this situation in my previous lecture that if the base of a triangle is increased by x percent and the height is also increased or changed by y percent then the percent change in the area percent change in the area it is given by the formula x plus y plus xy by 100 this is the formula we derived at that time we can straight away make use of this formula because in this case we have been given so we can put x equal to plus 10 because there is an increase of 10% in the base of the triangle so x is plus 10 and we have been given the change equal to 0 the area has to remain unchanged and we have to find out the value of y so it is a simple situation now when we put all these what we will get is 0 is equal to x is 10 so it will be 10 plus y plus 10y by 100 we have put x everywhere in the formula equal to 10 now we can cancel out this 10 will cancel out this on 10 so we can write this which implies 10 plus y plus y by 10 is equal to 0 now we can combine these y's so what we will get which implies 10 plus it will be 10y plus y 11y by 10 equal to 0 which implies y is equal to now you can take 10 to the other side it becomes minus 10 and 10 will be multiplied and 11 will go down to the denominator so here we will have multiplied by 10 by 11 which becomes equal to minus 100 by 11 and on a rough side we can just divide 100 by 11 11999 nine, and you have 1 so we now see that therefore y should be equal to it will be minus 9 1 by 11 so this is the answer the minus sign means that the decrease has to be there and the decrease has to be 
9 1 by 11 we can write it this way percent. This question can be solved by a second method also and I will explain that method also. I am erasing the board for that. Now let us take our method method 2 for solving the same question. This is the straightforward method. We will start with the assumption that height is equal to 10 and base is also equal to 10. So, area initially is equal to half of base 10 into height 10 which is equal to you can see that it will cancel away with 5 equal to 50. This is our initial area. Now he says the base of our triangle is increased by 10%. So we can write that the new base B is equal to the 10% increase will mean that it will be 10 plus 10% of the current value 10% of 10 because base is 10 which will be equal to first of all you can cancel this 10 it will give me 10 and this 10 will lead me to 1. So, new base is equal to 11 and let new height be equal to h. So, new area will be area will be equal to half of base into height that is equal to half of base is 11 into h. If there is no change in area, no change in area, then this product 11 h by 22 11 h by 2 should be equal to 50. This area 11 h by 2 should be 50 which implies that h should be equal to 15 to 200 and this 11 goes down. We can write it will be equal to 100 by 11. So, percent change in h the height will be equal to 100 by 11 minus the original value is 10. This whole value has to be divided by the original value 10 and multiplied by 100. So, this will cancel it by 10 and if we multiply 11 by 10, it will be minus 110. 100 minus 110 will be minus 10 by 11 and this 10 is there. So, it will be minus 100 by 11 which is the same as we obtained earlier minus 9 minus 9 1 by 11. The same answer by the second method also. You can follow either method. If you understand or remember the formula use that method or if you do not remember the formula then you can simply start by assuming that height has a certain value, base has a certain value and then proceed from that 
assumption and you will obtain the percent change in the height as minus 91 by 11 percent. Let us move to our next question now. 360 square centimeter and 250 square centimeter are the areas of two similar triangles. By just reading the statement till this point, I can understand that this will be on the area theorem. If the length of one of the sides of the first triangle be 8, then the length of the corresponding side of the second triangle is what? And this indeed is a question on the area theorem. So, we will now have to directly apply the area theorem. To visualize, I have been given two similar triangles. This is the first triangle and this is a second triangle. And let this side be X and the corresponding side has been given to be as 8 for the first triangle. I have to find X and the areas have also been given as 250 and 360. The area of this triangle has been given as 250 and the area of this triangle has been given as 360. So, by the area theorem, we can write by the area theorem which I have discussed in similarity also and in my previous video for the current series of mensuration also. By the area theorem, we see that the ratio of the area 250 250 to the area of the other similar triangle that is 360 should be equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding sides. The ratio of the corresponding sides is x by 8 and its square has to be taken. So, from here we can very easily write which implies x by 8 is equal to the square root of 250 by 360. Just take the square root. So, x by 8 is equal to this which is equal to this will be you can see we can first of all remove this 0 out. So, you can see that it is square root of 25, it will become 5 only and the square root of 36 will become 6. Which implies x is equal to 5 by 6 is already there. Take this 8 to the other side and multiply it. So, what we get is we can this is 2, 3, this is 2, 4. So, it is equal to 20 by 3, which we can obviously write as 6, 2 by 3. If you don't understand this, let me just divide it. 3, 6, 18. The remainder is 2. Therefore, this will be equal to 6, 2 by 3. So, this is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. The medians AD, BE and CF of a triangle ABC are 18, 24 and 30 respectively. The area of the triangle is what? This is a plain application of Hero's formula for the medians, which I have already discussed with you. We don't even need to draw a diagram. 
simply write the values of the medians that have been given to us. Median A is given as 18 centimeter. The second median I'll call median B has been given as 24 and the third median median C has been given as 30 centimeter. I am not writing CM, CM, CM because I know this is not a subjective exam. Otherwise, if you are preparing for your class 10th and all, then you must use CM, CM, CM. The teacher will deduct marks if you do not write it here. Now we have the three medians. Let us calculate the value of the semi perimeter or whatever the semi median. This is required for the Heron's formula. So, what it will be? It will be 18 plus this 24 plus this 30 divided by 2. So, its value will be 18 and 24 will be 22, 42 and 72 by 2. So, it will be equal to 36. This is one thing I need. The second thing I will need is S minus MA. I am writing what I will need later. This is the best way to solve these types of questions. So, it will be 36. This 36 minus MA first median 18. So, it is going to be 18. This is one thing I have. And similarly, I should write S minus MB, which is equal to 36 minus 24, which is equal to 1 to 12. And likewise, S minus MC will be equal to 36 minus 30, which is equal to 6. Let us now write our hero's median formula. That says that the area will be equal to 4 by 3 times the square root of this we have already discussed, so I will be putting the values. Square root of this S 36 multiplied by S minus MA 18 multiplied by S minus MB 12 multiplied by S minus MC 6, which can be rearranged like this. You can use any method for that. 36 multiplied by 18 by 2 by 6 by 6. Basically, I have split this 12 into 2 into 6 and you can easily see that we will get 4 by 3 multiplied by this 36 leads me to 1 6 and 18 into 2 makes 36 I will get 1 6 I have settled this settled this and settled this 2 also this is 6 into 6 again I will get 6 so I will get I can now cancel this on 2. So now it is a multiplication of 4 into 6 into 6 into 2 which is a plain multiplication. So our answer would be 288 square centimeter. Let us move to our next question now. If G is the centroid of triangle ABC 
and the area of the triangle ABC is 48 square centimeter. Then the area of triangle BGC is what? For this we need to draw a schematic diagram. Let us suppose this is the triangle ABC and one of the medians I have shown here is AD. Median joins the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side and let this be the centroid of this triangle where all the three medians will meet. I have drawn just one median AD to keep the things simple. The question is, if the area of ABC is 48, then the area of the triangle, this triangle BGC. This question requires us to apply our mind and there are always questions of this type, one or two questions in the whole exam, which only those students or candidates are able to solve who have a real in-depth understanding of the subject. That is why I have given you the proofs of everything when I have taught you geometry and now those proofs they will come very handy to us. Let me first of all mark what area we need. We need to know the area of this shaded portion, the triangle BGC. This area I will mark here. This is the required area. And I have been given the area of this triangular area as 40. The first step is obviously to draw the perpendicular for the triangle ABC. When we have the perpendicular, we can find out our way out of the situation. Let us mark this perpendicular as H. The area of the triangle ABC. We will assume that the base has a length of B. So, we can see that half of the base into height will be equal to 48. This is what we can comfortably say. That half of the base into height is the area of the bigger triangle ABC which is 48, which implies B into H is equal to 2 into 48 will be equal to 96. We have collected whatever information we have right now. We have no knowledge of B or H independently but we know that their product will be 96. Now, this G is a centroid, so it must have certain role. We know that this centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, this will be 2 third of the AB. And this portion GD, this portion GD, GD will be equal to one third of AD. That is why G the centroid will divide the median into the ratio 2 is to 1. And we also know from our basic geometry that if G is the centroid, then GD is one third of the length of the median. Now, 
let us through G draw a line parallel to the base BC. So, the height of the triangle BGC will be this. This is the height of our triangle. So, if I am able to find this length, if I am able to find this height or this portion, I will be able to apply the triangle area formula to my shaded portion. How do I reach this point is my immediate problem. The best thing that I have is that this line is a line drawn parallel to the base of which triangle? If I mark this point as P and let me also mark this point as Q. So, in the triangle APD, this triangle I am talking, this green line is a line from G parallel to the base. So, it will cut the other side in the same proportion by the midpoint theorem. Midpoint theorem doesn't only mean that it will go through the center of a side. It is the general name of the theorem which states that a line parallel to the base and drawn through a point on one side will cut the other side in the same proportion. So, if GD is one third of AD, then this PQ, we can write PQ will be equal to one third of the AP or one third of H. So, in nutshell what I have done is that through this centroid I drew a line parallel to the base of the triangle and since a centroid cuts the whole median into one third in this portion. By the same reasoning because this is a parallel line, this portion will be one third of the height of the triangle that is h by 3. So, we can write here area area of triangle BGC will be equal to half of the base base is same B base is same the same BC base is same for the upper triangle and also for this shaded triangle and what is the height height but this time is PQ which is H by 3. So, put it H by 3 which is equal to which is equal to C this is BH by 3 into 2 is 6. So, B now substitute BH equal to 96. So, it will be 96 by 6 which is equal to 16 square centimeter which is the answer. This question was all of a sudden an example of the entire geometry and such questions can only be cracked if you have a good understanding of the geometry and I believe my videos are more than sufficient for that. Go through the classic videos that I have given for similarity, congruency, where I have provided proofs of each and every theorem. Let us move to our next question now. Three sides of a triangular field are 15, 20 and 25. 
find the cost of sowing seeds in the field at the rate of rupees 5 per square meter leave everything aside the requirement in this case is to first find the area of the triangular field and then obtain the price of sowing the seeds for area we have been given three sides and it is as simple as that we have to find the area out of these three sides on seeing these three numbers my mind says that these are pythagorean triplets so the field must be in the form of a right triangle like this this will be 25 this can be 15 and this will be 20 this is a right angled plot in which the seeds have to be sowed so now it is extremely simple we don't have to apply Heron's formula let us write a is equal to half of the base multiplied by the height which is equal to half of the base is 15 multiply it by 20 the height what we get is this 2 will remove this on 10 and therefore the area will be 150 square meter this is one thing and therefore cost will be cost will be equal to 5 per square meter 150 square meter will be 150 multiplied by 5 that is equal to 750 rupees which is the answer sometimes the presence of mind like especially this one the observation that these are pythagorean triplets this observation helps us to solve a apparently longer question in just two steps let us move to our next question now if the lengths of the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 4 5 6 and the in radius of the triangle is 3 cm then the altitude of the triangle corresponding to the largest side as base is what this also needs us to draw a schematic diagram let this be our triangle a b c the sides are in the ratio 4 5 6 and we have to find the altitude of the triangle corresponding to the largest side as base so we can take that this side is 6k this side is let us say 5k and this side is 4k the sides can be assumed in this format the ratios are given not the absolute values the in radius is in radius is the radius of a triangle of a circle that is completely contained inside the triangle so we can say that the in radius r has been given to us as 3 in this case and what do we have to find out we have to find out this height h such looking complicated looking questions are not usually tough they simply require us to be a little bit brave in this case he has given us in radius and the area is required in this question so let us invite our formula for the area of a triangle in terms of the in radius for that we know that semi perimeter would be required 
So I will start with the value of S. S is equal to the semi perimeter is equal to 4K plus 5K plus 5, 6K. 4K plus 5K plus 6K. This divided by 2 which is equal to 5, 4, 9 and 6, 15. 15k by 2. The expression for the area of a triangle in terms of the in radius and semi perimeter we have already discussed and we found out that area can be written as equal to the product of R and the semi perimeter. So it can be written equal to R multiplied by 15k by 2. But alternatively also we can write a formula for the area of the same triangle which is half of the base into this height h. So we can write but but a is also equal to half of the base which is 6k into h which implies which implies we can cancel this on 3 which implies 3k into h should be equal to this is r into 15k by 2. This k can be cancelled and this 3 can be cancelled on 5. So which implies h should be equal to 5 into r by 2. Two or it is equal to what is r? r the in radius has been given as 3. So we can write it will be 5 into 3 by 2 that is equal to 7.5 centimeter 15 by 2 is 7.5 centimeter which is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. The ratio of the sides of a triangle is 3 is to 4 is to 5. If the area of the triangle is 72, then the length of the smallest side is what? Let the sides be, we can simply write sides be 3k, 4k, and 5k. These sides they represent a right angled triangle. We can see these are Pythagorean triplets. This is 5k. This can be 3k and this can be 4k. This is the right angled triangle. Observation that these are Pythagorean triplets. So a right angle triangle will be formed out of them. Now the area is 72 which means area formula will have to be used. The formula for the area will be half of the base is 3k multiplied by the height 4k this should be equal to 72 which implies this will be 12k square will be equal to 
72 multiplied by 2, this 2 goes to the other side and we can perform calculations 6 equal to 12. So, k will be equal to square root of 12 which we can see is equal to the square root of 4 into 3 or it is equal to 2 square root of 3. We have to find out the length of the smallest side. So, we can write therefore smallest side is equal to 3 into k which is equal to 3 into 2 square root of 3 which is equal to 6 square root of 3 which is the answer.